it is kind of an absurd world, the film industry. Blood Rain 3 is a typical of the bewildering effect of Bowles' films because here is a straight up Nazi exploitation film with the sex, with the gore. You see, kind of an interesting thing came into my head whilst watching the making of on the DVD is that this has the same atmosphere as like a lower tier Canon Films production in that that the crew and everyone who's working on the film is kind of in on the joke but the joke is that you're making a subpar film Blood Rain 3 is a mediocre straight to video film from 2010 it's atypical it's it, it kind of like no it knows what it is and it's not trying to reach lofty ambitions and flat and fall flat on its fucking ass it's not it's not all right let's wrap this up before i shoot myself how can i explain blood brain free right boring self-righteous tits splatter nazis it's the beast in heat with vampires not worth your fucking time move on <laughs> There are a plethora of useless deities to worship, Lieutenant. Elvis Presley comes to mind. That's not Elvis Presley. That's a vampire. Indeed. Our night patrol caught it scratching at the west fence a couple of nights ago. I believe it was a movie critic at one time, but they don't get out much. Yes, yeah, I've never met a movie critic. Hmm. Which is why you're alive. You see, this creature no longer has any bond in the moon. You think you're special because you're the damn fifth? I'm the damn fifth. You ain't precious. You're average. You're an average ass damn fifth. Precious! Are you listening to me, precious? Yes, mama. Your name ain't precious. No, damn mama. fifth, bitch. Yes, mama. Yes, what? Yes, mama. When's my blood gonna be ready? I'm hungry. When I'm done with it. Excuse me? I said when I'm done with it. Oh, Precious got some lips. Ain't that some shit? You think you're special because you had a baby? You think you a grown ass vampire? You just a baby giving it up for any werewolf on the street? You a dumbass damn fear bitch. Ain't you? You're a dumbass man. What you say to me? Nothing, mama. Put another egg in that shit. I want it nice and juicy. I want it dripping. Yes, mama. Who's gonna clean that motherfucking mess up? I just got new linoleum. Four! You will be taught that anything is possible. The truth is, that's a lie. Parents are naive. They give hope to their children because it's what they had hoped for themselves. Truth is, my son will likely fall in line with the majority. He's barely classified into a rapidly diminishing middle class. Let's face it, if he's not the 1%, he will be poor. Brandon Fletcher's character gives his usual sermon, and it was just as articulate and relevant as it was for 2016 as Capital Punishments was for 2012 and Rampages was for 2005, hope I'm getting that right. From there on in, we get a solid sequel that has way less of a budget than the previous two sequels. However, it still retains all the menace and tension and genuine anger that has made this franchise the crowning jewel in Uwe Boll's filmography. The president is not seen as being killed. In fact, three high-ranking members, I think the Foreign Secretary, President, Vice President, killed. We don't see it. We see After Effects. We see news footage. This isn't that kind of film. You, you, subtlety is not what made Rampage good. It was hyperbole in the name of, of, of a message. Rampage, President Down, is, in my opinion, one of Uwe Boll's best films at least of that I've seen. 
it's still filled with the myriad of problems that you would come to expect from one of his films but I do feel that it is a fitting conclusion to the career of one of the millennium's most infamous exploitation hucksters. Yeah.